Welcome back. Today we embark on an extraordinary journey into the mysterious and captivating world of fungi. Get ready to be amazed as we uncover the peculiarities of five truly bizarre fungal species. Let's dive right in. First one on the list is the zombie fungus, scientifically known as Ophiocordyceps, is a group of parasitic fungi that exhibit remarkable behavior by manipulating and controlling the actions of their insect hosts. These fungi belong to the genus Ophiocordyceps, and their life cycle is often referred to as zombification. When a spore of the zombie fungus lands on an insect, it penetrates the body and starts to grow internally. As the fungus develops, it gradually takes control of the host's behavior, ultimately leading to its demise. The infected insect undergoes a profound transformation, becoming a puppet to the fungus's bidding. The zombie fungus manipulates the host's actions, often compelling it to climb to an elevated position, such as a tree branch or leaf. This behavior benefits the fungus by maximizing the dispersal of its spores from a higher vantage point, increasing the chances of infecting other potential hosts. As the infected host reaches the chosen location, the fungus consumes the remaining body tissues, eventually erupting through the insect's exoskeleton. The fungal reproductive structures called stromata, emerge, releasing spores into the environment to infect new hosts and continue the life cycle. Moving forward we got Devil's Fingers, scientifically known as Clathrus arcari. It is an intriguing and visually striking fungus known for its peculiar appearance, also referred to as octopus stink horn. The unique life cycle of Devil's Fingers begins with a white egg-like structure emerging from the ground. As the fungus matures, the egg ruptures, revealing a red, gelatinous structure that resembles an octopus enfolding its tentacles. This gelatinous portion emits a strong, putrid odor that attracts flies, which play a vital role in dispersing the fungus's spores. Devil's Fingers is commonly found in woodland areas, particularly in Australia and New Zealand, although it can also be found in other parts of the world. While it may initially appear bizarre and somewhat eerie, this fungus serves an important ecological role as a decomposer, breaking down organic matter in the environment. Despite its foul odor, Devil's Fingers is not considered toxic and is not typically consumed by humans. Next up is Bleeding Tooth Fungus, scientifically known as Hidnellum pecki. It is an unusual and intriguing fungus known for its distinctive appearance and fascinating characteristics. This fungus is often referred to as the bleeding tooth due to its bleeding-like droplets on the surface of its fruiting body. Bleeding tooth fungus is typically found in North America, Europe, and Asia, growing in coniferous forests and associated with the roots of trees. Its fruiting body features a convex gap with spines underneath, which are usually white when young but become stained with dark red droplets as they mature. The droplets exuded by bleeding tooth fungus are not blood but a reddish-brown liquid rich in pigments and fungal metabolites. These droplets are believed to be a result of gutation, the process through which excess fluid is expelled by the fungus during periods of high moisture. While the exact ecological role of bleeding tooth fungus is not fully understood, it is thought to be a decomposer, breaking down organic matter and contributing to nutrient cycling in forest ecosystems. Next up is Dead Man's Fingers, scientifically known as Xyloria polymorpha. It is a fascinating and visually striking fungus known for its unique appearance. This fungus is commonly found in North America, Europe, and Asia. The name Dead Man's Fingers accurately describes the fungus appearance, as its fruiting body resembles elongated, finger-like structures emerging from decaying wood or forest debris. The fruiting bodies are typically black or dark brown, contributing to their eerie and skeletal appearance. Dead Man's Fingers primarily grows on dead or decaying hardwood trees, playing a crucial ecological role as a decomposer. It breaks down the organic matter, recycling nutrients back into the ecosystem. This fungus is characterized by its resilience, as it can survive harsh environmental conditions and continue to thrive in various habitats. It is often found in forests, woodlands, and other natural areas. Last one is the golden jelly fungus, scientifically known as Tremelimes enterica. It is a unique and visually striking species of fungus known for its gelatinous and vibrant yellow or orange appearance. Belonging to the Tremelaceae family, this fungus can be found in various parts of the world, 
including North America, Europe, and Asia. The golden jelly fungus is typically found growing on decaying wood, fallen branches, or tree trunks, particularly in damp or humid environments such as forests or wooded areas. It forms small, irregularly shaped, gelatinous structures that have a jelly-like consistency. This fungus earns its name from its brilliant golden or orange color, which adds a pop of vibrancy to the forest floor. While not considered toxic or poisonous, the golden jelly fungus is not typically consumed due to its gelatinous texture and lack of flavor. Instead, it serves as a visual delight in the natural world, contributing to the ecological processes of nutrient cycling and decomposition. The golden jelly fungus plays an essential ecological role as a decomposer, breaking down organic matter and contributing to the recycling of nutrients in forest ecosystems. And there you have it, the five weird fungi that continue to astonish and intrigue us. We hope you've enjoyed this adventure into the fungal realm. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to never miss out on our explorations of nature's strangest creations. Until next time, keep embracing the oddities of nature and keep exploring.